everyone, it's Melissa. It is Thursday afternoon. Um, I have just taken off work and I thought I would come home and do a video. Um, I got a lot of good feedback from the, my lipstick tag, the color of the red lipstick, and people had asked me how I did my makeup for that. So I thought I would show you. It's really very simple. It doesn't take too long to do. Uh, I like, I think I was kind of embarrassed that it was so simple, you know, nothing fancy at all. But uh, it's kind of a, a look that can be worn a lot during, I mean, it's a good time, I thought, for me to show it because with the holidays coming up and parties and stuff like that, you know, you might want to do a uh, kind of a smooth hairdo and um, just a simple face and a simple eye and a bold lip statement. So uh, I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I'm going to get started with a clean face, and I'm starting with my concealer. It is the Tarte uh, Maracuja Concealer, and I'll get some out. Just a really nice concealer, thick. You know, I've also put it on my lid. Someone asked me why I don't use a um, lid primer, and I didn't realize why I didn't, but now I know. Uh, every, I've tried the Urban Decay, the, I think it's Primer Potion, I've tried, oh, the creams, I've tried everything. Uh, anyway, I just put this down underneath my eye, just pat it around. And um, they make my, they look, make my eyelids look dry. They make my eyelids look crepey and old and dry, and the powder, uh, my Moonstone powder just doesn't, eyeshadow doesn't look as well. So what I do is I put um, the concealer, the Tarte concealer on the eyelids, and then I go all around my eye with the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. I don't know that it really uh, changes any color or anything, but it sets your foundation real well. And I find if you, use a powder instead of um, first on your lid instead of using a um, you know a primer which I haven't found one that really works and I'm happy doing it this way uh, then your your eyeshadow will just be real silky looking on your um, your eyes and when you get uh, you know older uh, you certainly don't want it looking all crepey um, for this look, I tell you what, I was inspired. Well, let me get started on this first. Um, I'm using the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Um, I like something very dewy with a red lip, um, very luminous looking, no powder, nothing uh, dry and flaky looking. Uh, this is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream, Silk Cream Foundation in Bamboo Beige. Okay. And then I always put it on with the Sephora uh, 46. I think it is a maybe a bronzing brush. But it gives just a real dewy. I just put a little bit on here like that. It gives a really dewy finish uh, without looking too dry, without looking too oily. And I'll just start out like that. I think you've all seen me put this on before. Um, I was inspired by this look uh, by Reese Witherspoon in this crazy movie and it has gotten to be I love this Christmas movie and nobody else likes it they all think it's so silly and it is it's with Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon and it's four Christmases and I just laugh myself silly every time I watch it and you know I think I might have to end up watching it myself because I don't think anybody else wants to but do you see how this foundation just really gives you a dewy, dewy finish um, without looking too oily? Uh, but anyway, I liked Reese Witherspoon's look in that movie. Just her blonde hair, just kind of uh, flat iron straight. Uh, then um, the red lips and kind of a, uh, a lightly made up eye. So to start that look, I'm going to use my ever-loving <laughs> Mary Kay um, Moonstone eyeshadow. So I'm going to go over that first. In fact, I'm just going to use the little brush that it comes with it. 
and it just kind of gives a really neutral little eye. You know how much I love it. I know it's hard to find. I know it's hard to sometimes, you know, you, you can buy it at Amazon some. If I, maybe I know a Mary Kay lady where I can get a website and start selling it. I don't know. I don't want to be a Mary Kay lady. Maybe I could get somebody to sell it to me or something like that and offer it. But anyway, so I started with that, the moonstone all over and in the inner cre in the inner um, corner of my eye. Then I'm going to go in there with my next color, which is a Mary Kay color. And it is the top one here, Sienna. So let me. It's just a beigey, warm, uh, rosy, brown kind of color. Uh, when you do a very, very strong lip, you don't want your eye to be really, really, really heavy. You want the focus to be on your lips with your eyes just sort of accenting your lips. I'm going to a wedding, my niece's wedding Saturday night, and it's a night wedding, so uh, it's going to be dressier. So I'm just doing this, just kind of windshield wipering it in my lid, uh, the Sienna. And uh, I want to, I think I want to wear the, the red lip. Okay, let me kind of get up close and see how I've done on this. Um, I've had to change where I put on my makeup because the window that I was using, uh, it's got the village scene in front of it, so I can't, it's, it's over on this side right here. So I'm having to do one of my side windows. I've got bay windows in the front, windows. I noticed that Doug and I say on our last video, we say, Winda, Winda. So it must be a southern thing because I noticed that he says it too. So I just kind of did the outer corner like that. Very, very simple. I noticed that she did it too and that. You could go in a little bit darker if you wanted to, like with the, um, I think this is like the cinnamon color. And just kind of do the outer just a little bit. Do it lightly. I think I, I think I shall do that. Okay. Now next, I am going to. That's all that I'm going to do with my eyeshadows. Just real simple. Nothing underneath. I'm not going to do anything underneath of my eyes because I'm just going to let my lips, you know, that red lipstick just sort of take over. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm not going to tight line, I'm going to do the waterline with the Urban Decay 24-7 in zero. I usually don't use this. One thing, it's, it appears, it seems to me, I always have trouble, wait, let me look straight ahead. Okay. Uh, it wants to be a little flaky on me, and you have to sharpen it. See, it needs to be sharpened right now. Okay. That's not a very good, not a very good job of doing my waterline, but oh well. It's kind of scratchy because it needs to be sharpened. But, uh, Tomorrow night, I will do it probably with my Laura Mercier, uh, the, the cake eyeliner, and push it up with a push brush. But I just grabbed this Urban Decay just to kind of give you an idea, just to uh, wa do the waterline, uh, I mean, the tight lining, and don't do the waterline because it will close up your eyes too much with this red lipstick. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to do um, eyeliner and then a wing. I'm going to use the Jordana Fabuliner. So, I'm going to start first. I'll just do my basic line like that. Okay. My daughter is Reese Witherspoon's age. They were in the same grade in school. Uh, she's from the Nashville area, from Middle Tennessee, and my daughter is from East Tennessee. But she, my daughter competed in acting competitions, and she would compete against Reese Witherspoon. So she knew all of her. Just fell down. She knew of her, but uh, not necessarily 
was never formally introduced. Let me grab my mirror. Sorry about that. And I will just hold it up because I don't want to have to stop this video. Okay, so now I'm going to do the wing. And what I like to do is just, hopefully you can see, lay it up against here. And then pull it down. Like that. Then I'm going to go on this side. Lay it here at an angle with your eyebrow. And pull it down. And then I'm going to kind of go toward the middle and join it. Thicken it right through here. Uh-oh. Sorry. Okay. Use a little spit to get it right here where I missed it. I don't know why. When I lay it down to do it like that and flick it down, it always gets a little bit right on the end, on the outer corner of my eye, always. And then I have to kind of spit, <laughs> which is not very sanitary. Okay, so hopefully you saw that. I hate that my mirror fell, but um, I use it mainly uh, as to do my eyes, so hopefully the rest of the time I'll be able to kind of look at the camera and see it. Okay, so next I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I did the wing here to give it sort of the cat-like look, and I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then kind of add to that illusion with my mascara. Okay, trying to concentrate on the outer lines. You know, sometimes I have uh, put individual lashes on the outside to try to bring the eye up, uh, which I might do this weekend. I think it kind of goes pretty with the eye. Okay, do the other one. Thank you, everyone, that was said such nice things about our house. Uh, Doug was really cute because he was worried that. Uh, well, he was worried when I was sitting on his lap because it looked like I was taller than he was. And he's over six feet tall, so he wanted everybody to know that he really is taller than I am. Uh, it, but I was sitting closer to the camera and in his lap, and so it looked like I was the one that I was bigger than he was. So he wants y'all to be sure to know that he, that he is over six feet tall. Uh, and he just kept looking at himself, saying, I just don't look good. And I mean, he was like, I said, you're like a girl. Uh, but he was real excited, and I read some of the comments to him, so he, he was really, we were both very grateful. Thank you. I, I appreciate y'all being nice to him, too. So I've got just mascara on my top lashes. I've done my wing liner, and I've tight lined. Everything is on the upper part of my eyes. Uh, I've just done some an all-over uh, Moonstone wash and the Sienna in the crease to add just a slight bit of color to make the green in my eyes come out. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is a blush. Now I don't think with this color, and let me tell you first the lipstick I'm going to use. It is um, the uh, Maybelline 14 hour lipstick uh, number 065 Ravishing Rouge. Okay. A lot of my blushes, and certainly a bronzer, but a lot of my brushes have a little bit of an orange tone to it. This lipstick is, um, it doesn't have a lot of orange in it. It's just kind of pretty much a true red. So I didn't want to use that uh, color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lipstick as my blush, uh, which I do quite frequently if I've got a lipstick color that I don't particularly have a blush that would, would uh, kind of coordinate with it. <clears throat> now I was told this a long time ago. Uh, that anytime you put on cream blush, this is what you need to do. You add, let me get my mirror. You put one dot, oops, you put one dot in the middle of your eye, one dot up here at the top of the cheekbone, one dot underneath in between. You make a triangle and then blend it up. So it just gives you, sorry, it just gives you, um, 
lays kind of right on top of your cheekbones, blends with your lipstick, and brings out your eyes. So we're going to do the other side. Up, up, like that. So you naturally have on the perfect color lipstick uh, blush to go with your lipstick. Um, so with the lips now, I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to use the um, Elizabeth Arden uh, lip liner. It's lip lip definer, and the color is 15 Spice. So let me roll this up. It's a nice color that goes with that Ravishing Rouge real, real well. bottom ones. Okay, and I'm just going to fill them in with that lipstick. It's really, it's a very, I'm almost embarrassed to present it because it's such a simple look. I mean, I hardly did anything to my eyes. I really just kind of did a wing um, and just made, kind of made my foundation luminous and then I'm just going to add the lipstick to it, and that's going to be the end of the look. So, let me get closer. You can see the look. Hopefully I did it okay. I hate that I lost my mirror in the middle of it. Uh, but hopefully you'll be able to see it. I can't see myself very well. But I hope it turns out okay. If not, I'll do it all over again. But uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for your lovely comments. Uh, I just enjoy doing these videos for you so much and I've met so many beautiful people and I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.